Right then, hello and welcome back to Talker Race Driver 3, getting ready for the final championship in Tier 17. It's of course the HPDC V8 Supercar Series. Now I've attempted this championship once or twice already and the cars are pretty much impossible to drive with the simulation handling, similarly to the 1960s Grand Prix. I was also told in the comments as well to turn off the sim handling during the rear wheel drive anniversary rally. Um, yeah, it's... it's a massive disappointment that one of the main features or one of the key features in this game is the simulation handling but it is so bugged with some of these championships that it makes the cars undrivable which is a massive shame anyway we'll get on with this one then finish third or above in this championship i doubt we're going to win the championship first time so i'll probably have to go through the championship again off screen just to get the first place but that's not a problem at all we are driving the ford falcon ba for this one and we have four races of four laps each, starting with Mount Panorama in Bathurst. Then we have Phillip Island Grand Prix, Eastern Creek International, and then Queensland Raceway to cap it off. Race rules as the same as they were before. 20 cars on the grid, black, black, and white flags. Points go down to 20th position. And I am going to put qualifying on for this one because, again, this championship is a bit of a pain in the ass. So there we go, then the Ford Falcon BA, we're racing under the Dick Johnson Racing Banner, and it's 1,355 kilograms, 620 brake horsepower, 0-60 in 3.9 seconds. So with that, we'll get race one then underway. Right. Will this go well for qualifying? Probably not. Now, when you don't use the qualifying format in this championship, they start you down for race number one in 15th place. So it's pretty much impossible to actually gain any positions because everyone's just blocking their lines, which is a bit annoying. Another thing I noticed as well is that when you have the sim handling turned on, the car feels incredibly sluggish, like you've got no acceleration speed at all. It's not so bad with the arcade style handling but yeah the AI do treat you as if you're standing still and again as if you're not there they block their lines push you onto the grass and it's just not fun at all so we're only gonna do the one lap and then call it a day oh oh for god's sake Oh well, we're going to have to do another lap. That is such a pain in the backside when they delete the lap. We didn't even go across the grass properly. We just literally slid sideways. We lost more time. Oh well. So two laps around Bathurst then. To try and get a qualifying time in at least. And we got someone coming up behind, so that's great. Right, this time, we won't go wide and we'll actually get a lap in. Now he's going to cause issues because he's going to try and probably push me out of the way. Which is going to cause issues with my lap time. Oh, there we go. Whacked up the rear. Oh, thanks for that. Come on, get your bloody way. And again, it's like that throughout the race duration as well. They just push you out of the way and you can't do a bloody thing about it. 
Topping out 190 mile an hour. I reckon I'm going to be last. Just to add insult to injury. And there we go, a lap of 149, what was that, 149.5, so... Where is that going to put us on the grid? Um, oh, 12 positions, so we're three places up from where we would start normally. Oh, well, let's try and get this race underway and done and dusted. Yeah, yeah, whatever. The only thing that's going to be turned up in this championship is my blood pressure, but there you go. Get out of the way. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, well, that was fun. Are they still riding my ass? Yeah, almost. I should have increased the gear length just to give me that little bit of extra speed down the Conrad straight. No worries. Well, lap one down, three to go. Oh, shut up, for God's sake. You stupid old man. Oh, you absolute... Oh, the infield's gonna slow me down. That is why I hate this championship. This is as bad as the V8 supercars on the first Tocker race driver. That happens way too often, and it is really bloody annoying. Now, I had the inside line, so he should have slowed down a bit because he was pushed onto the grass, but no, instead he just decided to wreck me completely. And again, this is what I mean about the fluctuations in difficulty as well. So you go back to the rear-wheel drive rallying, and we won the stages by, what, 15 seconds each? And yet you get onto this championship, and it is just... Oh, I can't describe how bad it is. It's just bloody awful. It really is. And you can't take the turns any faster than you already are, because then you'll end up crashing and going into the war, going off the track. 
by that understeer into the wall almost. And then the blokes behind you catch up. And you can't do anything about it at all. gained anything? Not a thing. Pulled out the tiniest gap from the bloke in 17th. chance of getting into the top 15 let alone the top 10 so yeah it looks like we'll probably end up 20th because they'll probably try and wreck me before the end of the lap who knows You can hear that scraping behind me. That's them actually pushing me from behind. Oh, they've dropped back a bit now. Well, we might have better fortunes with the final three rings. Who knows? So it looks like 16th place is all we're going to muster out of race number one. Don't you dare, you son of a bitch. Yeah, you can keep pushing all you want. And there we go, that is race one complete. So, not exactly the start we were looking for, but look how close it was for the top nine places. Only 1.8 seconds separated first from ninth. Verdink wins, though. We finish in 16th overall. So that means we get a lovely 48 points. Yay. Anyway, Phillip Island then for race two. Let's see how well our qualifying is for this one. Probably the same as it was for Bathurst. I think I took that corner a little bit too conservatively, slowing down a bit too much. And again, only going to do the one lap. So, probably going to be, I don't know, 15th. Not going to be in the top 10. And a lap time of 1.14.31. So let's have a look where that puts us. Pulpit. What is it with this bloody game? 
I was really slow going through that tight right-hander, and they put me on... Oh, I don't get it. Seriously, I honestly don't get it. You, you would have better chance of trying to figure out how the cosmos came to be than trying to figure out the logic of this bloody game. Anyway, Phillip Island for race two. Are you ready, children? And away we go. No, don't you dare, you swine. Right, you slow down for that corner, so bugger off. Surprised you haven't had Scotty in our ears telling us about the bloody tires yet. What's wrong with him? Has he got a cold? Is he feeling a bit under the weather? Right. That was a shock. So, lap one, we're leading still. You see them on the little mini map though, they they do creep up and then they back off again. Luckily Verdink isn't leading the little group behind me, so he's I think he's in fifth. To the end of lap two with two to go and about the same distance as it was for the first lap, that was one quick lap. Great oh shut up Right, the good news is we pulled out about a second and a half lead. They're not, they're, like I just mentioned, about a second and a half, two seconds back. Shut up, you over-exaggerating old oaf. Well, you can see there's a breakaway. There's one bloke trying to catch up.
Now, you see, why couldn't Bathurst be like that? It's still a little bit of a, you know, a challenge with them breathing down my neck, but at least we managed to keep out in the lead. Bathurst was just unbelievably stupid. Yeah, yeah, Scotty, whatever. Wind your neck in. So that was a little bit more like it compared to race number one. So we get the victory over Porter, Luff, and Verdink. Unfortunately, finishes in fourth. So that means we're now joint eighth with 240 points with Luff. So still got a long way to go. I don't think we're even going to get a top three, but oh well. We'll try anything at this stage. We head to Eastern Creek for qualifying for race number three. Oh, that's going to be great fun. Again, if we get pole position on this race, I will be very shocked. Again, just a one lap, and we've done it in one minute and 10.92. Okay, that's not too bad. Probably won't be pole position, but we'll see. Okay, then I was completely wrong. We won pole position then by uh, a tenth of a second over Dean and then Canto. Uh, Dean Canto, well, there you go. Uh, and then uh, Syfleet, McGill, uh, where's Verdink? He starts in eighth in car 42 so oh well let's see how we get on okay here we go then attempt two
Okay, will it be second time lucky? Okay, now I can breathe a little bit easier. That was just an absolute pain. An absolute pain. Oh, whatever. Whatever, I don't really care. Now, I did say at the start that that was the second attempt. Now, the first race, or the first attempt, I led the entire way. And all of a sudden, on the final lap, the AI just had this boost of speed and came right on my chuff and spun me out. So... This is how the uh, the first version or the first attempt ended. Oh, you! S <sighs> I have no words for that at all. No words. Yeah, not happy at all. So I had to go through it again. That was why I was a little bit quieter. I was just concentrating to hit my apexes, hit my marks and try and get the win, which we did over Dean Canto and McGill. So uh, we're now fifth in points. Um, quite a ways back, though, still from uh, old Dean. Uh, Verdink drops to second, then Cyfleet and McGill, and then uh, I'm in fifth currently. Anyway, last lot of qualifying then, Queensland Raceway. Let's see how we get on. Around this rather unique circuit. I'll probably do two laps around here just to make sure because I've forgotten how to drive around here. And it's a relatively short track anyway, so I'm not losing that much time. Okay, so we'll do one more lap and see how we fare. I think this lap is going to be a little bit slower. It feels slower anyway. Oh, it was a little bit faster. 55.6. Okay. Let's see where that puts us then. Ninth place. Yeah, we were two seconds off over Dean. So, oh, this is going to be a pain in the arse. Anyway, final race then. Queensland Raceway. Oh. I block him at the start. Go back on the inside line. Right up into seventh.
And again, don't you just love it when they get alongside and just don't get out of your way? Okay, well, unfortunately, the points leader is currently leading the race, which is... Which is not good. Alright, they've dropped back a bit. Shut up, Scotty, for God's sake. Two to go. Third place, I don't think we're going to get any better than that. We'll try. Look how quick they catch up. Bloody stupid. Pretty impossible to go for a win when we're on the final bloody corner, Scotty. Oh well, third place. Better than nothing, I suppose. Uh, that championship in itself was just bloody terrible. Oh well, so Dean wins the championship, and yes, we finished third, which is what we needed, by 12 points. My god, that championship is absolutely awful. So we get the third, which is a criteria we needed anyway. I'll have to go back off off screen to get that championship uh, and finish first. Uh, but next time, the uh, vote is still ongoing. We have the Type R Trans Cup, the World GT NGT, and the European V6 Championship. So carry on voting for those, and uh, whichever gets the least amount of votes will do first. Whichever gets the most votes will do last. Simple as that. So from me, I will leave it here for now. Thank you very much for watching, as always, and I will see you next time kicking off tier 18 so take care stay safe and bye for now